welcome to another week. So, what have we been up to? Mm -hmm. Not a lot. Nothing brewing related, anyway. Uh, try my mixed berry stout. So, and then we'll catch up what I've been up to. You know, I brewed this quite a while ago. You're going to have to excuse pure, poor lighting. No, I haven't had a beer yet. Um, mixed berry imperial stout. Just what you need on a sunny evening. Well, I brewed this at about 8%. eight And then the berries went in. 3 kilos. Um, so this could be anywhere from... 8 to 10 percent, don't exactly know, but they're setting the berries for a week, so I presume it will be quite uh, potent. Uh, nice wee hiss, hmm. yeah, excuse the glass, yeah, proper pour, not much. Yeah, it seems to be good a bit of this. I think it needs a bit of an aggressive pour to keep ahead. So we had a bit of lactose, I think, put in this. Oh, bit of yeasties. <coughs> Yeah, I don't know if it's the dishwasher, but there we go. You can probably, yeah, hear it fizz. So, yeah, it's not holding ahead. I didn't think it would. Now it's been ooh, six, eight weeks since I made this, I think. <coughs> it's been a month since I had a cheeky bottle. No, the head's just, I think it's probably the glass. The head is um, very quickly disappearing, as you can see. No, I think there was torrified wheat in there, so it should have kept the head. But, taste time. Oh, that's mellowed. Oh, time on that. A oh, good thing. Now, when I first, taste, first tasted the the first bowl, use first twice in the sentence. Um, seemed very watery, thin. Um, berries were quite harsh. You know, in your face. This is mellowed a lot. Um, it did finish out quite high at 10.25 so it shouldn't be too thin um, could be the lactose that was put in it I think there's lactose in it I should have re checked the recipe but yeah just a nice berry flavour a little bit dry, which is surprising. Bit of tartness coming now through as you taste it. Oof. Better not gulp that too much. Uh, lighting's getting a bit better in here now. The sun's disappearing for a minute. <clears throat> oh, that's nice. Oh, yes. Oh, tasted berries just keeps coming which is good so what I've been up to <sighs> good question uh, not doing much at the moment uh, didn't brew last week didn't even do a video last week I'm kind of a couple ahead um, cookie monster as I'm calling it which is a very biscuity Dark heel, red heel, can't remember. 
Um, biscuity eel. So I want, I've got uh, half a kilo of biscuit malt I wanted to use. Been there a while, so half a kilo of that one in the batch. Some car for three, I think. Two. <coughs> oh, look back. Um, yeah. Looking forward to that one. So that's going to get bottled either t tomorrow, Monday. Uh, what I'm brewing tomorrow, I don't know, it depends on the weather. Just pushing the rain, I'll be doing all green. If it's nice, I'll be doing one of the kits of this, two of the kits that I've got. Uh, I'll probably just throw 100 grams of something in it. Um, so I normally make a hop tea, but, uh, throw a bit of Dex or DME into a pan of water and boil for about 15 minutes. Then throw the whole thing in the fermenter, and away we go. Um, take it from there. Want to do that? And not, don't dry hop because you've got 100 grams of hops in there. It's going to do do its thing. Uh, it doesn't get grassy or anything. By the time you get to drink it, it's mellowed out, which is pretty good. So, uh, yeah, don't know if I'm going to do an all green. I don't know what I'm going to do. Probably IPA as usual. Uh, one of my regular recipes. I might do rust bucket actually. Yeah, so if I do it tomorrow, it needs to be bottled two weeks today. Because then I'll be on a boat on Monday morning early. So it'll have to be bottled on the Sunday, not the Monday that I normally do. But yeah at the beach today. Oh, I'm very thirsty with the sea air. Mm. So we went for a over to a place called Murva. Lovely beach, a couple of miles long. You probably saw it in one of my videos before on a crap camera. Um, so yeah, went for a walk on that for about an hour or so. Not as warm as you would think. Uh, enjoyed the walk though. So, what else been up to? Not really beer related, but I had a little couple of test drives in cars. Now, I had a little test drive in a Kia Nero PHEV petrol hybrid plug in. Interesting. Um, very quiet can't tell when the engine's running did like that there is only one model of it available which is the all sing and all dancing model which is no bad thing um, and today I had a spin in a leaf yes a fucking leaf right Whoops. <coughs> so the new one the 40 kilowatt one wow is all I can say what a car I was a bit bowled over with it to be quite honest. And uh, now I'm not going green and all fucking you know, tree hugger. Uh, it's too it's an expensive car, but when you're commuting to work every day, like the Nero will, Kia Nero will go to and from work on a charge without using the petrol motor. Um, so I'll go from. What, 18 euro in diesel a week to probably about quid's worth of electric and quid's worth of petrol. Big difference. A week. And the leaf, I think per week we'll do it on two or three quid. Which is two or three euro, I should say. Still in UK mode, but anyway. Yeah. I'm saying, wow, took it for about two, three miles spin, not a proper test drive. I've seen it sitting out the front, but at the side of the road in front of the dealership, and I thought, ooh, I wanted to book a test drive. I thought, let's U turn and go back. Um, it wasn't, I think it was the SV model, it wasn't the SVE, but it had the one pedal, or E pedal as they call it. So you flick a button and you drive with one foot, basically. Uh, 
boy it can go and it can go and keep going it's like wow and then when you take your foot off the pedal you don't have to touch the brakes it's like someone's throwing an anchor out the back and it's like whoa slow down uh, I tried the regen brake which is B mode there's a B mode on it with the gear stick you go and back not severe so you can go down a steep hill which we have it's about a mile long um, into work that slows you down a bit but I actually managed to regen what was it three kilometers going down it I'm surprised at that uh, then give some welly going back up but yeah interesting car bit tight at the because me uh, if I'm going to get something it'll be everything's ticked you talk after grant and VRT don't ask what VRT is it's this illegal uh, thing in Ireland which the EU have said no you shouldn't be doing that so it's double tax typical Ireland um, two and a half grand off that and a five grand rebate which is like whoa it's still coming in at 36 grand it's like ouch uh, for the 40 kilowatt I would rather wait for the 60 if it was going to change mm, they, they're quoting something like 438 kilometers on a charge in real world they're only getting about 230 240 mm. but yes interesting if you do nothing else, just take one for a spin. I was quite mildly surprised. Uh, so it's got me thinking. It's got me thinking. So we'll have to see what happens. Uh, but anyway, back on beer. Don't know what we're going to brew tomorrow. As I said, might do an IPA or a rust bucket. It's been a while since I've done a rust bucket. I've got some rye malt, I've got amaretto and citra. So we've got the black rye there. I was about to need to put that on. I've got the K for Kav uh, Red Eel or IPA. And a cheeky bottle of that. It's only been in the bottle about a week. Uh, not as hoppy or fruity as I was expecting, considering you saw how much I put in. And it had a shitload of dry hop. It was about 100, 120 gram dry hop. I was expecting to be like a fruit bomb like the DKN. Mmm. I think it has something to do with the dark greens. I'm not sure. I tend to take something else. Yeast. Very clean. Uh, very hazy. I don't know if that was because it's only a week in the bottle. Probably was. But yeah, you probably need a, little, a couple more weeks on that, and it'll come come good. Um. Uh, so yeah, looking forward to getting that on tap, which I probably won't get now for at least a week or two, maybe three. Mixed berry will go on, that's ready. So, that'll probably have to drink that in half points. Yeah, you don't want to be guzzling points of that. You're on your ass. So, if I'm brewing, I'll see you in the morning. If not, I'll see you next week. That's all I can say. Uh, I'm playing it by ear today. Uh, and that's it for this week. I'll see you tomorrow. If I don't, have a good one.